Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and today we're answering patient questions all about the treatment of leaking bicuspid aortic valves with medications. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Luis Castro, who's a leading cardiac surgeon at Dignity Health Sequoia Hospital in Redwood City, California. During his extraordinary career, Dr. Castro has performed over 5,000 cardiac procedures with more than 3,000 involving some form of heart valve repair or heart valve replacement. Dr. Castro, it is great to see you again and thanks for being with us today. Thank you very much, Adam. It's always a pleasure for me to be on heartvalvesurgery.com and help your community. Yeah, and so Dr. Castro, we're gonna to get to Tina's question in just a second, but first, I wanna thank you and your team at Sequoia Hospital in Redwood City, California, for doing a great job with our patient community. Last I checked, you have successfully treated over 190 patients from our community. And I, I just wanna say thank you for all the great outcomes you're getting our patients. You're welcome, Adam. It takes a village. It's a team here at Sequoia Hospital. We're honored to take care of your patients. Oh, thank you so much. And now let's get to a great patient question from Tina. And she asks very simply, Dr. Castro, is there any medicine for the treatment of a leaking bicuspid aortic valve? Great question, Tina. You need to know that bicuspid aortic valves are the most common congenital abnormality of the heart. So it's not uncommon for patients to have bicuspid aortic valves. The majority will never actually need an operation. So operations are done for patients when uh, the time occurs that the valve has become too narrow and the heart is working actually too hard to expel blood out into the body, or if it leaks back. And the, the analogy that I like to make with aortic regurgitation or any valve regurgitation is imagining shoveling forward. But every time you shovel, you get everything that you've shoveled or at least half of it back into your face you're gonna to have to work harder to accomplish the same amount of work. So patients who have leaky valves have hearts that are working overtime. Instead of just pumping four liters a minute of blood, they're pumping eight because four go forward and four come right back into the heart. Medication can be used uh, and very successfully with mild cases of regurgitation. What we try to do with medication is to lower blood pressure on the end where blood is trying to be expelled in so that more blood ends up forward and less blood ends up coming back and returning to the heart. We can also, like a leaky faucet, if you will, if you've got a leaky valve and a leaky faucet, you turn down the water supply so that it leaks less. We can use diuretics or med medication that enhances urination to decrease the total volume of, of blood within the heart chamber so you're gonna leak less. But it does get to a point where if it is severe enough and the heart begins to enlarge, you have to start considering surgery as a corrective measure so that you can live a long, healthy life without having to worry that you're gonna end up in heart failure or not live long enough to be 80 or 90 years old. Dr. Castro, what if Tina ends up to a point where she does need to have an intervention, a surgery? How successful have you and your team been with treating this disease? Tina, if you're ever faced with your valve requiring an operation because it's, because it's just too leaky, the good news is that we live in a day and age where we perform these operations very safely. There's lots of choices. There's tissue heart valves. There's mechanical heart valves. There's lots of research underway hopefully being able to address leaky valves now with transcatheter techniques. We're still not there just yet, but the surgical uh, choices that you have are extremely safe. Love that answer, Dr. Castro and Tina. So, you know, I am going now on my 16th year after my surgery for my leaking bicuspid valve. So I'm hoping that might give you some inspiration knowing just as Dr. Castro mentioned, there is a very good track record here for success for patients with regurgitant bicuspid aortic valves. Dr. Castro, as always, thanks for taking time away from your very busy practice there at Sequoia Hospital in Redwood City, California, and being with us today. Really, really great seeing you again. 
It's always a pleasure, Adam. It's great to see you and it's great to serve your community. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit parkvalvesurgery.com.